The tip this week is about how to pick up stitches on a horizontal edge. And by horizontal, I mean a bound off edge. And this is very similar in principle to seaming horizontal edges. It is important that you pick up the stitch in the appropriate place. Now in this one, I have picked up the stitches. Notice that the column of stitches continue. Here's a column of stitches and it continues up into the band. Okay, And that is because where I have picked the stitches up is in the stitch below the bound off edge. And you can see this on the wrong side that there is, there's my bound off edge and I have picked up in the stitch below. And if you pick it up in that location, it will continue the stitch pattern on up, or at least a stitch is coming from a stitch. This is a purl, so it's not the same stitch. And if you do it incorrectly, this is what it's going to look like. And if you notice, here's my stitch, and in this example I picked it up using the bound off edge. Um, so that's why this one looks so hokey. George, um, my cat wants something. Um, and you can see that it doesn't continue. The stitches are being picked up between two columns. And I've got these little uh, 11s here. And the same thing would happen if I picked up instead of the right, lo oh, excuse me, the right location is here, 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 and if I picked up between the stitches, I'd get that same effect. I'd get the pinch stitches. I'd get the 11s. Now, I've got a swatch that is knit on very large needles so that you can see where the stitches are, and I've got some yarn here, and basically, to pick up stitches, I'm going to pick up here. That's a stitch. Looks like a V upside down V is a space between a stitch. So I'm going to pick up here, 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 but where do I start? Well, selvage stitches are always kind of hard to see. And if you're having trouble finding the center of the selvage stitch, find the first thing that you can clearly identify as a column of stitches, that's right there, and move one over. Well, actually, one column over. And in between the columns, this is what I'm going to have, an upside down V. So here's the center, there's the center over there, upside down V, center, center over there, upside down V, and that's going to help keep me straight. So I'm going to insert it into that selvage stitch, and I'm going to drop the yarn several times before I actually pull it through. There it is, and I'm going into the next column of stitches, and I've got that upside down in between them. I'm going into the next column of stitches. And if you want to think of it this way, I'm going to be skipping the upside down V. There's the upside down V. I'm going in there, and I'm going in there. Now, the thing to remember about this is that when you're picking up stitches on a horizontal edge, the ratio that you're using is one to one. I am picking up one stitch for every column of stitches. And if this were reverse stocking net, I would be doing it the same way. You always go into the center of the stitch below. And in fact, I'm going to turn this over and let's look at the reverse stocking net. Let's say that this was the right side of my work and I was picking up stitches along here. Remember, stitches in a reverse stocking net look like a frown. There's a stitch, there's a stitch, there's a stitch. And so the closest thing over here, there's my stitch, here's my first stitch. And with this yarn, uh, with the size needles I used, it was very hard to get a decent looking uh, bind off stitch. Okay, I'm going in there, I'm going in here, whoops, and then I'm going in here, and that is where I am picking up the stitches. Sorry. It doesn't matter whether they're knit stitches or purl stitches or it's a combination of. You pick up the stitch on a horizontal edge in the stitch below the bound off edge. Now we'll see next week, because um, I'm going to do picking up stitches on a curved edge, that is a horizontal and vertical edge, that it's pretty much, um, it's very similar to seaming stair steps, actually. It's sort of the same procedure.